So before we progress this uh, in this with the internal resorption purple necrosis, so let us have a quick recap. So first of all, you should know that bacteria from the dental caries, they are the primary source of your pulpal inflammation or pulpal injury. The first stage in pulpal injury will be the pulpal hyperemia, where the blood vessels supplying the pulp are getting congested with the blood. Now this pulpal hyperemia is going to progress to reversible pulpitis. If reversible is not controlled, it goes to irreversible and irreversible finally leads to pulpal necrosis. Now let us discuss first about the internal resorption here. So internal resorption, you are going to get a case of a traumatized primary incisor in a four-year-old boy and the tooth looks pink. Now the pink color tooth asymptomatic is pink tooth of murmury that's a name given to that pink tooth of internal resorption so what's happening internal resorption due to trauma the undifferentiated connective tissue cells of the pulp they differentiate into dentinoclast and the dentinoclast cell are going to resorb the root dentine from inside you can see this is what is called as the ballooning of the root canal. So this can be detected by the radiograph. Now a primary tooth that is traumatized but asymptomatic and discolored tooth. You just leave it alone, just observe the case. However, if the tooth is symptomatic, you see periapical radiolucency has started, there is a swelling, it has to be treated with immediate RCT. Now when we talk about the pulpal necrosis, as I told you, it's the death of the pulp due to irreversible pulpitis if left untreated. But the pulpal necrosis can be of two types. It can be the partial necrosis, or it can be a total necrosis. So in the partial necrosis, there are still symptoms that are retained from the irreversible pulpitis like the pain that is triggered by hot liquid and relieved by the cold. While in total necrosis, the tooth is going to be entirely asymptomatic. It doesn't give any response to thermal or electrical testing. But you should remember, a necrosed tooth will be sensitive to percussion. So when you are tapping the tooth with the handle of your mouth mirror, patient is getting sensitive. Percussion is positive. And also the palpation test. When you apply pressure with your finger, patient is sensitive. So it is for the necrosed tooth. 